so many plot twists. And it's like, I figured out the obvious plot twist, but Obsidian did a fantastic job of one-upping me and threw me a curveball that I actually like. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I'm sorry, this must be difficult for you. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. I'll appreciate your help even more. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not going to sit idly by. If you can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, I'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. So your immune system could destroy the parasites before the larval stage. Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. Or do you prefer doctor? We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. Oh, you mean Sprat Nucleus. They're commonly used in medical experiments. I'm glad one of us is an expert. Most of what I know is based on Dr. Blossom's notes. Here's what I understand. Sprats have an adaptive immune system. They don't suffer from the diseases and parasites they carry. It's one reason why you'll see them in every corner of the colony. Dr. Blossom experimented with Sprats and accidentally discovered a way to become immune to the parasites. That's probably when she decided to switch to human testing. I should be able to synthesize an effective anti-parasitic. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Use the ingredients to synthesize an anti-parasitic. Easy enough. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Not so fast. Let me borrow your neater. Are you worried I'm gonna shoot you in the back? I'm already doing all the work. I deserve to feel like an ether wave hero. You're right. You do deserve the spotlight. Here. You take good care of my needler, and it'll take good care of you. Thanks. There is one other thing. While you're at Piraeus Spaceport, have a word with Cedric Kincannon. I know Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. I wanted to ask you about Belinda. I'm not accustomed to talking about Belinda. But I'm also not accustomed to the kind of sympathy you showed me earlier. So I'll make an exception for you. Belinda and I shared the role of Helen. But she was also the only person who knew the real me. To the rest of the colony, I'm Halcyon Helen. But to my sister, I'm... I was just Ruth. I could be myself around Belinda, and she could be herself around me. She was my only sister, but she was also my only friend. People know your Ruth Bellamy. Was it hard for Belinda to keep herself secret? No. Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. She could slip into the role of Halcyon Helen, attend social events on my behalf, perform a few stunts, deliver a few lines. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, all she had to do was slip out of the role and be my sister again. She was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows, an easier life. I made sure of that. If she was... Sorry, if she was important to you, if I were you, I want revenge too. What I want is my sister back. 
But I'll settle for killing Ludovico. Nobody else knew you had a twin sister? Parents, naturally. An agent, a couple of directors. None of them had any reason to reveal the truth. To them, Helen was a brand. Revealing our secret meant damaging that brand. Damaging that brand meant losing money. Nobody in this colony wants to lose money. Belinda and I saw Helen as... an act of theatric sleight of hand. We enjoyed the deception, the challenge. We wanted to see how far we could go. I say you went pretty far. You two became Halcyon's best paid stars. And if I hadn't underestimated Ludovico, you and I probably wouldn't be talking about Belinda in the past tense. We wouldn't be talking about her at all. It should have been me in that ballroom. Belinda died because I was careless. Never mind that. If you've got something else to ask me, now's the time. That's all I wanted to know. I'm glad I could satisfy your curiosity. You killed innocent people. Did you really think? Well, actually, hold on. I want to hear the whole story. Tell me what happened. It's a long story, Inspector. I have that time. It was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. Some hideous concoction served with a dead parasite. All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos. Shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. In any case, we couldn't possibly say no. Why didn't Belinda want to go? Belinda always hated endorsement deals. They felt cheap to her, inauthentic. She always believed her first priority was to our fans, and not the company that bought us out. What made her change her mind? Nothing. She took the job when I did. Belinda was an idealist, and her ideals died with her. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. We were practically flawless. Even Ludovico didn't know about us. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days, but... Then she met Bertie Holcomb. Bertie treated her like a human being and not just an Aetherwave icon. They were just about perfect. Except for his temper problem, I found the ruined picnic. Bertie has a dreadful temper. I was worried about Belinda for a while, but she told me he'd never lay a finger on her, and I took her at her word. Bertie wasn't the person I should have kept an eye on. It was Ludovico. I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. That gave me some time to do a little digging. Hmm. I heard you insisted on a tour of the labs. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. Those harmless dead parasites at the bottom of every bottle. They were just dormant. It would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. They'll eat up any new product we toss their way. A new cereal, a new spectrum flavor. Ludovico knows that. From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. Every last one of us trapped behind a mask of joy. That's what Ludovico wants. Hmm. Ludovico realized what you were up to. He thought you expose his plans. I was careless. I was risking Belinda's life every step of the way, and I never even realized. Don't blame yourself. I wish it were that easy. Still, thank you. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? I like your style, murdering everybody you want in the name of revenge. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that worries me a little. Leora Blossom and Maria Keane were on Ludovico's side. They chose to stand between me and my sister's killer. I had to cross them off. What exactly happened between you and Constable Keane? Would you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? I spoke to her in her office. I told her everything. Belinda, Ludovico, the parasites, all of it. 
Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage, and that she had a duty to report me. She told me how sorry she was, and I told her the same thing. And then I shot her. Maria was defending my sister's killer. If someone murdered one of your crew in cold blood, what would you do? I would have made them pay. So you do understand. Was there anything else? Brady was carrying this data pad. I think it's yours. Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected. Everything I'd discovered. It's all here. All in code. Belinda and I... We had a secret way of communicating. Words and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Numbers and dates that were only important to the two of us. Only two people in the universe knew that language. Here, take it. That's kind of you. Thank you. What exactly happened on the night of the murder? You don't know how many times I relived this moment in my mind. I discovered what Ludovico was up to when I toured the orchards. I threatened to expose his plan. Ludovico decided to eliminate me. He programmed Burbage 3001 to fire on his command and disabled the security cameras in the ballroom. Only, he didn't know about Belinda. I'm sure he thought it was my skull he caved in with a bottle of Spectrum Brown. Burbage covered his blow with the plasma shot, and then Ludovico wiped his memory. Huh. Yeah, then he hired me to pin the murder on someone else. I don't think he expected you to be so competent. In the end, hiring you may have been his undoing. I went after Leora Blossom, and you were just one step behind me. I programmed an automech to steal some explosives from Cedric, but you weren't far behind. You were always hot on my heels, one step behind and catching up. I realized I'd have to throw in with you or eliminate you. You would have lost that fight. <laughs> I like your confidence. Take that with you when you hunt down Ludovico. Goodbye. All right, so all I have to do is get the essence of Sprat, collect an egg pod, and for optional purposes, which I'm also going to try and attempt to do, recruit Cedric. So let's, well, wish me luck. What floor would you like to visit? The lobby, please. This is getting so bad now, like, I came over here to talk to Cedric, and a lot of his workers must have been drinking Spectrum Brown because they are just not, they're not, Lord. I really hope Cedric is okay. Like, as much as I couldn't stand him, I really hope he's okay. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh. How'd you get in here alive? You are alive, yeah? And not a one of them? No, you look clean. Uh, good, you'd better get inside with the others. Yo, this guy is scared out his mind. Foreman. Cedric, Lord have mercy. There you are, I'm glad you're okay. Inspector, you made it, well done. I'm afraid you may find the spaceport is, at the moment, less hospitable than usual. My apologies. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Ludovico's behind everything. Will you help me take him down? Oh, my. You mean Lou was up to no good this whole time? It gets worse. He wants to infect all of the colony with slugs. It's an ambitious plan, I'll give him that. But tell me, why should I help you, Inspector? Hmm. I'm appealing to your better nature here. <laughs> Always best to make sure a man has a better nature before you appeal to it. All right. But you're not to take this as confirmation I have one. Understood? 
You can expect Slux support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation station. Tell them to bring their best weapons and any personal issues they like to work out through violence. I'll do that. I think one of our checkpoint guards is going through a divorce. As thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the spaceport safely? I'm going to disperse an anti-parasitic. It's almost ready. Are you really? Inspector, you are a marvel. Excellent work. I'll admit, I'm awfully fond of my agents. To see them restored will be a great weight off my soul. Thank you. That anti-parasitic I mentioned, I need Essence of Sprat for it. Coincidentally enough, Slug can supply you with Essence of Sprat. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman, you remember her? There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the Essence of Sprat you need in there. Who ordered Essence of Sprat anyway? Oh, I wouldn't like to say. A customer supplier confidentiality and all that. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? That's all for now. So convenient that the foreman has what I'm looking for, so thank God. Hey, Inspector! You're alive! That's terrific! I need Essence of Sprat. Do you have any in storage? You need... what? Why? It's for an anti-parasitic I'm working on. No kidding. I should have known you'd be on top of things. That must be what's on my desk. We just got it in. Couldn't find it on any of our shipping orders, and none of us could figure out what in Law's name it was. You're welcome to it. Just so you know, it... Uh, it's got a bit of a weird smell. How are you holding up? I can't complain. Still slug free. That is, I'm still slug, obviously, but I haven't been slugged. You know what I mean. Stay safe. You too, Inspector. And there is I the good. I knew in here. Ha, Nokia, let's go. Let's get out of here because now all we need is to collect the egg cedric by the grace of god is definitely helping us out so baba booey baba booey let's get to it you gotta be kidding me you mean to tell me i have to get an egg pod from profit a probability psycho ass lord have mercy Wait a minute, the egg is somewhere upstairs? So... I didn't know you guys have the a chef profit here. profitability has changed my life. Her seminars are worth every bit. Every... Nah, fam. You're wild for that. I would never. I assume this would be upstairs? Okay, how would I get upstairs? Like... Oh, huh? shit. I mean, it sucks I have to kill people, but hey, at least I get some goodies out of it, so... I like to look at that as a win-win situation here. Wow, even over here, everyone's infected. Huh. Okay, so that's sealed. Can't really go over there. Oh, Lord. That's definitely a bust. All right, so hopefully I should be able to pick up these. They will help me with opening up the door here. What? 
the index finger of the chief of the savages bitten off by his followers as they finally turn on him, as descendants always do. Now wanting to permanently injure then celebrity Spencer Woolridge, and lacking the resources to create an artificial finger for the scene where it was lost, the director of Terror on Monarch had security remove the index finger of one of Woolridge's understudies. You now hold it in your hand. That is disgusting. What a fucking freak. Huh, so nothing here for me to grab. Um, I'm still trying to find a way to go upstairs. I'll probably go through the other way right here. This way. Oh, I stole something. Damn. So this is a storage area. Little sprats. Okay, so this is the other side here. Um... Yeah, there's really nothing for us to... to go to at this point. So... Let me find the other way. That's outside. Ooh, awkward. Is she still here, or did they take her away? She's still here? What? Ah, the sweet safety of imprisonment. I'll no longer have to put up with the miserable vulnerability of this bunker. Finally relieved. Yeah, she's still a freak. I don't, I don't know what's up with her. Uh, but the real question is, how would I get upstairs? The egg pod. I guess this is something I actually have to she go said, outside. I must burn away the old me in order to be transformed. I can feel myself burning already. Okay, I'm messing with a whole bunch of freaks here. I need to get the fuck out. I'm I'm leaving. Hold on. Okay, so if the egg is not inside, does it mean that it could be upstairs somewhere? Like Because I'm trying to find where this egg is, and yet it's not really helping me out at all. Jump! Damn, you could jump, right? Shit. Hold on, let me see something. Nah, there's no way to climb up here. Or is there? Oh, that's water. Returning fire. Oh, shit! That shit scared me. Is there more? Oh, shit! My bullets. Yo, the head popped off. Oh, Lord have mercy. That is insane. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here... Ah, the egg pod! See? It's down here. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. Shit! Nokia! You leave her alone! Oh. And this one's twerking to death. That's cool, I guess. Alright, so the egg. I wonder what they use this bunker for. What the hell? We're not going here? Okay. Okay, so we are inside the cave right now. And I'm expecting anything and everything. At this point. Hold on, let me see. I just realized something. Let me switch weapons here. Because I did ask Halcyon Helen to use her gun. So, give me a moment. Oh, shit. 
I got it. Halcyon Helen's weapon, you guys. Oh, I can actually switch. Red old life. Alright, let me test this out. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this weapon. I feel like if I could, like, tweak it, probably throw in a mod, it would be a lot more better to use. Let me see if this works. I don't know, I'm not really into this weapon. Okay, let me see. I mean, in theory, it looks pretty cool, but I'm not really... I'm not really feeling the very low D, uh, DP damage points. Oh shit! Pew 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 pew! Pew pew pew! Oh, skeletons in here. What's this? Corporate authorized the name Eridanium gigansis to describe the life form. Once we determine whether the creature is a viable flavoring agent, confection ingredient, or drinkable after fermentation, Rizzo's company branding development will provide a more consumer-friendly name. The life form is a parasite. This section reveals an incomplete system of rudimentary internal organs, a half-creature, and unfinished accident of atherogenesis. But how can this be? Eridanos is hostile to all life forms. Parasitism implies a rich biological diversity. I theorize that Eridanium giganus is not truly endemic to the Eridanos planet, but was created in the organic waste of the same terraforming system that operates the atmospheric complex. Continuing my investigation, more reports to follow. Happy to be part of a Rizzle's family. And I assume this is the parts, the remaining parts of said scientists, which is pretty sad. And that is the egg pod right here. Thank you. Are y'all okay? What's good? Like, go shoot him. Damn, he flew. He fucking flew. I love it. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. We are definitely done. We have nothing else to do. I did find like an elevator that we can go to. Hopefully, this will lead us back to the top. So. Or to the bottom! Yay! For misdirection. I just love it. Wait, sentry fudge? So we are meant to go here. We're back at the place. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me just run over to the other side here. Hopefully... They have it, and I don't need to explore outside the wilderness. Then again, I have to. Yay! Come on. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>